Hello guys, it's me Yuki and this is just a quick unboxing and review for the Rack Dasig Wired Gaming Mouse that I just bought. Please check the description to see the timestamps in case you want to skip. The box is just simple and the manual is pretty straightforward. Feel free to pause the video to see the complete manual details properly. There are 8 buttons, namely, fire button, the left and right buttons, middle scroll button, forward and backward buttons, DPI and backlight switch. Other key features are, this is Huano switch, the resolution is from 800 to 7200 DPI, the buttons and LEDs are customizable. I like the braided cable. It really looks good and feels that it is high quality. The metallic silver finish looks premium, but just to note that the material is actually not metal. I think this is just hard plastic, similar to your usual mouse. The sides got matte rubber coating. Just be careful not to rub alcohol on it as it might worn out or crack the coating. There is an actual metal plating below the mouse which made it pretty neat. Maybe you can open it in case you want to fix or troubleshoot some parts. Alright, here's the sample for the click sounds. You can download the software from their website, www.rock.ph. After installing, you can now customize your gaming mouse. The user interface is really good. Here we have the office template, which you can use for work-related functions. There are two game templates for different game settings, and a media template which you can assign functions for music and video settings. You can also import and export your preferred settings as files, so you can save as many as you want. You can reset your settings as well. The base setting window shows the drop-down menus where you can select a specific function for the 8 buttons. Alright, I'll expand the drop-down menus so you can pause the video to see properly each function. The next window is for macro which can be used by advanced users for customizing. Next is the advanced settings to control the mouse pointer, wheel speed, fire speed, and DPI. You can set 6 DPI settings which are not necessarily in numerical order. LED colors can also be assigned to each setting. Lastly, the LED setting window shows different light effects that you can choose from. You can pause the video to see the list properly and then I'll try to apply some effects. So for example, like breathing, um, this is the default one there so let's try breathing and it changes there so for example let's try 
comet tail there so there's different kinds of light here like flowing so there it's really nice okay so that's for the settings here the mouse is a bit heavy which feels premium not too light to handle which is good to me since it doesn't feel cheap at all there's actually a dasic wireless version but there's no metallic silver color which i prefer i don't like that much the plain colors that they offer by the way i ordered this via shopee app just search Rock Dasig. Overall, I really love this gaming mouse. It really looks sturdy enough for me and the amount of customizable settings versus the price for just 495 pesos or $8.94 is really worth it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more review videos and you can browse my other playlist as well.